Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Vanessa. Just a quick little intro. I thought it would be fun to challenge myself and using only the makeup products they sell at this Dollar King store. Um, so I will take you along with me and show you this, the makeup aisle because I, I have gone there before and I did notice that they have a lot to choose from. So yeah, um, this is just a quick intro and join me on this journey and hopefully we can make it work. Alright guys, and we are back from the store. Um, actually, they had way more than I thought and I actually remembered. Um, I found everything that I needed there. The only thing that was a bummer for me was that they didn't have concealer. They only had concealer and um, like really, really dark shades like for um, dark skin tones. But I guess we can skip on that and I'll just use what I have here. But besides that, I think I got everything from primer to lashes. I know lashes for a dollar. Quick disclaimer, the prices went up. It used to be a dollar. Now it's actually everything in that store is a dollar twenty-one. I know, right? California and the prices. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I got was obviously a primer. It claims to be a finished hydrating primer. So the brand is She. So let's go ahead and test it out. Little tube. Oh, it's clear, like completely clear. What's like a jelly consistency? I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, good. It doesn't have a scent. I'm trying to figure out. This kind of reminds me of the um, Makeup Forever primer, the photo finish one, the jelly one. Let's see. Okay, let's apply it to the face. My face is already washed. And um, moisturize. I let the moisturizer sink in, and I do have my under eye cream. I don't know how to explain the consistency, but I feel like it's gonna sit on my face. It's not even really gonna help grip the foundation. Like it's very, very, very slimy. Yeah, that's what it is. Like very, very slimy. Hopefully it works. All right, guys. And the foundation. They only had two shades. Of Santee. The other ones were extremely dark from the other brands they had there. So I got shade 3 and I got shade 4. They were like the lightest ones because I, I am in a lighter complexion. So let's go ahead and check this one out. First I'm going to put in the back of my hand just to test out the consistency and the color. Oh my god. This is extremely pink. Great. It does have a scent to it. It's like a old lady perfume. Maybe you know what I'm saying. Let me try the other one. Let me take off the seal on this one. This one's shade four, also from the same Santee brand. Okay, so this is shade four. Wow, this one's orange. This is what happened. Oh my god. Can you guys see it? Like this one's completely orange and then this one's completely pink. What if I mix them? Make my own little cocktail of foundation. Oh, I think I'm gonna go for the pink one and then try to lighten it up with um my concealer. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to make it work with the more pinky one. Cause I feel like the orange is just too orange. And I also did find this um sponge. I already stabbed it by accident because it smelled too, like, it smelled like chemical. Like, I don't know how to explain it. So, I have long nails right now. 
And when I was drying it, like, I mean, squirting out the water, I stabbed it. So since it's a cheapy sponge, it made hold on it. So just heads up. And then I thought I squeezed all the water out. But every time I squeeze it, more water comes out. So, I mean, and it feels so hard. But we're still going to use it, okay? I am going to do my eyeshadow first. Just in case there's any extra, like, loose powder that falls on my face. We'll be good. So once again, I'm using the Tarte Shape Concealer. My favorite, favorite primer. Primer. My favorite concealer to prime my eyes before I actually apply eyeshadow. So I'm taking the sponge that I bought and I'm going to go ahead and blend it in. Okay, guys. So I did find the setting powder. This is the um, from the brand She again. This is a natural beige compact mineral powder. So I'm going to use that to set my concealer before we apply the eyeshadow. And I am using my own brushes because just to give every product like a fair shot, okay? Because it did have um, a, lot, a lot of brushes there, but I don't know if they're going to work. So I'm just going to set this in very quickly. Okay, I set that in. And um, I already took off the seal on this one and I'm actually going to swatch them just to see how they perform before I apply them to my eyes. I don't know if I showed you that yet, but it is the Amuse Cosmetics Eyeshadow and I already swatched the first one and it was not promising. Alright, so I am taking my Morphe M441. Oh, snaps. You guys see that? Oh, no bueno. Oh, does it smell? It smells like kind of like a cheap baby powder. Whatever. So I'm going to play the first shadow. I'm like eating all this powder. I don't think, oh my god, I don't think that's safe. I'm being so traumatic, but oh my god. Okay, typical me. Alright, I'm going to apply this and just put it all over my lid because it's like no color. No color. These are not pigmented at all. How crazy. It's like pointless to put eyeshadow on these brushes. Oh. This is going to the basura. Alright, that's that. So I'm going to take the third shadow with no name. It's like a blush, like a, a lot of eyeshadow falls up. Okay, I'm going to apply this on the outer crease. No color. As I apply the shadows, I notice that there's a lot of fallout. A lot of fallout. So first what I'm doing, because these shadows are not pigmented whatsoever, I'm packing them on first. I pack on the shadow first, and then I'm blending to help out the situation. So I'm going to do the same on this side. This is like a... Oh my god, did you guys see that? I ate it. Okay, so I packed it on first, and then I'm going to blend. I'm like drowning in powder over here. Look, do you guys see all of this? This is not my skin. Look, I even got on the brush just by patting it. Look. <laughs> What's going on? ¿Qué está sucediendo? Oh my god. Okay. Hopefully at least come, if it comes out cute, I guess I'll let it slide, but I don't even know what color to use next because I'm afraid. Okay, so I'm taking another brush now. So I'm going to take my Morphe M433. I'm going to take the fifth shade, okay, which is like a brown. And I'm going to apply it just here. I'm excited to like dip in into the black to see if the black works. Okay, this one doesn't have as much fallout as the other ones. Okay. Okay, guys. This is an e.l.f. brush. This is a professional blending brush. Going with the black. But before I go with the black, I'm going to swatch it just to see. It claims to be black. 
Pero ¿por qué? But I'm gonna make it work. Cause that's what I'm about. So I'm gonna take this into the brush that I just mentioned to you guys, top of the excess. And I'm just gonna put a little bit here. I think this, um, oh my God, it's leaving lines. It's not blending out right. Ah, oh, Lord. I'm only gonna even that out, you guys, because this is not the business. I'm not liking this one bit. It looks like I got punched in the eye. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my. Okay, so guys, I'm going back with my Morphe M441 brush, and I'm just gonna blend it with no no eyeshadow because I'm giving up on this. I'm just gonna try to blend out the black because that black did not blend at all. Okay then, so now with my index finger, since I do like to apply these shadows, oh snaps, I do like to apply these shadows with my fingers, like the shimmering ones, I'm going to apply them here, I'm going to give it a fair shot, oh my god, did you guys see that? Are you guys watching that? It's like literally coming off and... Look. This is the ugliest shimmer I've ever used in my entire life. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same to the other eye. Mama smelling like a baby's butt. Because this is a lot of a lot a lot of baby powder scent in this or maybe that's what they used to make it all right so i'm gonna go back with the same morphe brush and just blend it out so there's no harsh lines like at this point it's pointless because the eyeshadow looks ugly oh my god on that oh my god it's coming off with the brush literally it's coming off this is like the magic eraser. This is erasing all that's just coming off. It's just coming off. Ah, Lord, take the wheel. Okay, so I'm just gonna let it be because I don't wanna wipe off that, um, I don't wanna take off all that, um, look, all the eyeshadow that fell off. Okay, look, it's clean. Right. Look at that. Good thing I did my eyeshadow first. I can see all this eyeshadow, man. <sighs> Next. Mm. That's going to be my favorite part of everything. We are taking the... This, um... I already mentioned it. It's the Santi Complete Cover Foundation. And the color numero tres. Number three. And I'm taking on the sponge that I will use to um, blend in my concealer. And we're going to pray for the best. And we're going to apply this to the skin. This sponge is so hard. And it's not the good kind of hard, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I feel like I'm using so much foundation, usually I use less than this. It's not covering up anything on this side. What am I doing wrong? Okay. Now what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to apply it directly to my face. Is this the right color? No. Oh. Woo! Good thing I tried because I was about to apply numero four. And I'm using numero dos. 
Or is it number three? Just kidding, I'm using number three. Okay, so... Oh, too much. This is very pasty. This feels like paint. Like the Crayola paint that kids used to, um, used to paint at school. Or like arts and crafts. This is what it feels like. It's like very thick. I don't know if you guys can see the thickness of it on camera. But this is not the business. Like what I'm foundation is to cover up all the all your mistakes, all your blemishes. You know? It smells so bad and I have such a sensitive nose. So Am I going crazy, you guys? Or is this just not working? Like, okay, you know what? Maybe it's the sponge. I'm going to use my Morphe um, foundation brush. This is the M439. Let's see if this makes a difference. Because I feel like that sponge is absorbing all the foundation and not covering up anything. Or maybe it's just the foundation has no coverage. Oh, this is so thick. And it's not even the good kind of thick. You know what I mean. Okay, I need to be careful because I don't know who will be watching my videos. And I don't know who this gets around. As funny as this might sound, I feel like my CC cream covers more than this one. But let's layer it up. Might as well, right? Might as well make the best out of it, so... I'm gonna try to make it work for y'all. Don't think I'm not. I'm gonna apply another layer of paint, which is foundation. If you look, my nose, my forehead. I'm just thinking to myself, how many tubes of foundation am I gonna have to go through? <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going. Like, how many tubes of foundation do I have to go through in order to get some type of coverage? Mama's trying to cover up. Mama is trying to cover up everything. My God, you guys, it feels nasty on the skin. I'm gonna have to wash this right now because I don't want this on my brush. Ever <sighs> stinks. Okay. I feel like the sponge came through at the end. Okay, that is good. Now I am going to put it on my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer just to save the day because I feel like I need to save the day with this baby. Okay, now that I applied my favorite concealer, I'm going to blend it out with the same sponge hopefully this saves the day and the reason why I'm applying it under here so that it doesn't look too pink okay that is blended out so now I'm gonna go back with the same powder the other one that smells like baby powder and I'm going to set it under my eyes and all over my face just to set everything in crazy how this powder is not as loose as the eyeshadows like I feel like the eyeshadows have way more fallout than this powder. It's crazy. Excuse my ugly faces. I'm trying to stay positive throughout this experience. Only because with seeing how much powder is in my room and how much I'm eating. The only thing I want right now is a burrito. I'm not trying to have powder in my system. Okay, so I'm going to have to wash all my brushes after this because these powders... Okay, green, yes. Okay, guys, so now I'm going in with a bronzer from brand Beauty Treats. Sun Bronzer Face and Body. And this is in the shade Sun Bronzer 2. They have like a lot of makeup to choose from. And personally, I like more of like a matte bronzer, but all the bronzers there had shimmer in them. And this one also has shimmer in it just a little bit, but we'll see how it performs. I'm taking my Morphe E3. 
Actually, let me swatch it. I don't feel like. Well, this is way too. This is like a highlighter. This is not a bronzer. Can you guys see that? Let me see. I could have probably used as an eyeshadow. Look how shiny that is. Ay, Dios mío. So I'm going to bronze up my face with this shimmery AF. Look at that. You know what this would be cute though? Like not for your face, but when you go to the beach and like you want to bronze up like your necklace and then your shoulders. Like I think that would be super cute. Obviously I am pale AF and I don't tan really well. Like I'm like five different tones in my entire body. Oh my god, this is so shimmery. Can you guys see all that shimmer right there? Like they should have just named this a highlighter, not a bronzer. False advertisement. <sighs> compose yourself, Vanessa. Compose yourself. So I think to save the day, I'm gonna take the same powder that we used to say and try to like mat it down because it has way too much shimmer i don't know you guys i'm like really trying to make this work for y'all but okay i mean it is what it is next look at this huge blush palette from the brand she uh b the the shade is b l01 and Look how huge that is. I think I'm going to go with this one. More of a mauve pink. Let me swatch it. Shocker! It smells like baby powder. Oh my god, look. <sighs> Do you guys see that? Who makes these? Like, like wh what are you thinking? Like, Okay, I'm going to apply some blush. Oh my god, I'm not even applying a lot. So I'm going to take my blending, my setting powder brush. I'm going to just try to like blend this out just a little bit because... <sighs> Someone shoot me. Okay. Now, next. Highlighter. This is called Glamour, Glamour Glow. It's from the Amuse Cosmetics. And this is 4th of July. And this is the name of it. 4th of July. I'm excited for... I love highlighter. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but... Oh, my God. This highlighter is like California. Dry AF. Like, it's on the drought. Like, what? Whatever. Let me swatch it. Oh, my God. Let me actually swatch it over here. Let's see if you guys can see it. Is there any shimmer? Yeah, I feel like we can make this one work. So I'm going to take my highlighting brush. This is from Morphe as well. This is M501. My favorite, favorite highlighting brush. I'm going to actually try to wet the brush a little bit with my Morphe setting spray just to see if it makes a difference. Just a tiny notch to help it out. Okay, we can make it work. And down the bridge of my nose. We're not going to give it more texture. But can you guys see that highlight right there? That is the power of highlight and setting spray. We are done with the highlight. So, I did find a um, eyebrow pencil. Alright, so I actually got this one. I don't even read it, you guys. I just opened it. It's also from the brown sheen makeup. It's called Diamond Brow. So, I got it in the shade Dark Brown. Okay, so, so it is like a diamond. It's kind of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, the one I use. And this will be on the side. I'm going to do them off camera, so I will edit this out. It's just FYI, you guys, because I take forever to do my brows, but I will try to make it work, okay? Surprisingly, you guys, eyebrows did not come out as bad as I thought they were. Um, I guess because I do have more on the fuller, um, side of brows. Like, I do have a lot of hair there. I'm not saying I have really, really thick and long, 
like brows but i do have eyebrows so i think that did help it doesn't look as patchy or as muddy they didn't have a clear eyebrow gel but i did find a clear lash mascara and i feel like this would help because it's clear so i mean multi-purpose um this is from the brand um just color color is k k sorry it's color is k-o-l-o-u-r and um, I just literally took off the the packaging. It doesn't smell like anything. And it is completely clear. So hopefully this does help leave my eyebrows in place. They did have like, um, oh my god. You guys, I'm taking off all, the, all my hard work from my um, eyebrow pencil, like, my brush is coming out to be brown. They did have like um, setting brow gels, but they were all like extremely, extremely dark. They had no clear ones. And the brown ones didn't even look brown. They looked like very, very orangey. So I didn't want to risk it. I risk it. Who says that? Such a valley girl. I know. Okay, so we're going to let this set, set in for a minute. And then I don't plan on using this ever again, so I will put it back. Savage. Okay. Now, my favorite part. Lashes. I found this mascara. The only thing that sucked is that all of the mascaras there were waterproof. Literally, all of them. And I'm not a fan of waterproof mascaras. I just I feel like they're, they dry off faster than the other ones. So, this is the... Um, I'm over here opening it up. Like, if you guys know what I'm talking about. This is a dramatic volume. Vitamin E infused nourishing mascara so this is a dramatic volume from the brand Celavi cosmetics and it's black aka negro hopefully the bristle is good on this i'm picky up on my mascara oh it's big oh i'm gonna find the really really big brushes like this and i feel like oh my god this smells horrible. It smells like oil. Like not even cooking oil. Like oil the one that you put in your car. Oh, why am I sniffing it like that? I'm putting that into my system. I'm just going to apply a very thin layer. Because we are going to put some lashes on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that. I'm going to go ahead and let that dry, and I'm gonna go back into my eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go back in with this brown. Okay, I'm going to apply the brown and put it on my under lash. Okay, that is done. So I also bought some lashes. They're the a more us usa 3d fox mink lashes they claim to be 3d multiple layered lashes they look very promising very very whiskey very very pretty and you know what you guys these are cruelty free and vegan that is amazing these are these might be a winner so guys i'll be right back once i apply my lashes hopefully i can apply them since the band is very thick don't go away stay tuned okay guys so i applied my lashes and a little bit of um mascara on my lower lash um the lashes are okay they're honestly a little bit uncomfortable but they look really pretty um they're making my eyes cry a lot like and usually lashes don't i don't know if it's because the band is extremely thick in the inner corner right here but i feel like it's poking me i don't know how to explain it. it's like poke every time i blink it pokes my eye so i can't wait to like take these off but i mean the lash itself is extremely pretty. I just wish the band was different. So I'm going to apply lipstick. My boyfriend did pick up the color. I asked him to pick it up for me. And of course, he went with the red. Shocker. So it's just red. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Oh, it's more like a... Yeah, it's red, but it's not like... I thought it was going to be like a really deep red. But we're going to go ahead and apply it either way. It's actually pretty, hopefully. I smell everything. This smells like rubbery, like rubber. Nothing smells good. 
I mean, I didn't expect it to, but... Okay, guys, I just applied my lipsticks as carefully as I could because it is like a deep red. What do you guys think? I'm going to put a little bit of setting powder just to give it a fair shot on the entire makeup look. And I apply a lot of it, as you guys know. Okay, you guys, so this is my final look. Let me know what you guys think. Um, the, the only product I think I'm going to keep is going to be the bronzer. And maybe the highlighter so I can use it as like an eyeshadow because it was actually a little blinding. I think the setting powder did help though. I'm actually going to keep the bronzer because I feel like it will be nice like in your negligee and then like your shoulders to add like some more color to um to your body when you go out to the beach um that's the only product i'm actually gonna keep and maybe the lipstick um even though it's very transferable like even though i know it will transfer to anything that i my lips touch like spoon fork or straw like it's not a long wearing lipstick whatsoever see it's gonna transfer very quickly and it does have like a funky, oh that's actually not that bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep the lipstick, um, the eyeshadows are gone. I mean, I didn't like them at all. The lashes are just for a one time use and I don't think I would buy them again, even though they're really pretty. I don't think I'm gonna buy them again because the eyelash keeps poking me right here. Maybe if I trim it next time, a little bit from the inner corner, cause it's really poking me and it's poking me on this side more than on this side and I can definitely keep it. The brow pencil is actually not that bad. I might keep that as well. But everything else, I'm not keeping the blush. I'm not keeping the foundation. I'm not keeping the primer. Everything is going to go bye-bye. <sighs> it's going to go adios, sadly. Um, but true. Um, but besides that, I think this is my final look, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't look as bad as I thought I was. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to um, subscribe and hit that notification button. And also, if you want to see more challenges like these, or any local Dollar Tree, or I'm sorry, any dollar store you would like for me to go ahead and check out for makeup, let me know. Thank you for watching the video. Once again, it's your girl V, and bye.